Hey everybody, um, I'm Hermione Bellino. Welcome back to the Book Corner. Um, I'm an author of fantasy and of cozy mysteries, and we're doing a review of Elizabeth Peters' Crocodile on the Sandbank. This is, <clears throat> sorry, this is the first book in the Amelia Peabody mystery, and this is before her son Ramses is born. This is before she gets married. Uh, first of all, I want to say this is an absolutely beautiful cover. I love it. Um, when she was alive, her illustrator who did her book covers did some really impressive work. And I've always, always admired that about it. So if you're into Egypt and mysteries and, and things like that, this is a perfect series for you. So this is the first book in the series, and this is where she meets Evelyn, who is her friend, and of course, when she meets Emerson, who will become her husband and the father of her son. And it really talks a little bit about some of the things that women in the late 1800s went through. Uh, so, for example, as Evelyn makes a comment that she thinks that Amelia would be a great Egyptologist, and she jokes, if I was only born a man. Um, this is not an indication that she regrets being born a woman. Uh, this is just a reality back in the 1800s that even though Egyptology was starting to really become a discipline, women were excluded from the profession. So, so what ends up happening is she find her and Emerson find themselves in the middle of a whole lot of things going on, um, and you know they go to El Armada, which is the um, which is the, which was the um, capital of Egypt during the reign of Akhenaten. And for people that don't know about this particular pharaoh. He was known as the uh, rebel pharaoh. He was also considered to be the world's first monotheist because he venerated one god, and that was the Aten. And so they find this tomb of what appears to be Akhenaten and Nefertiti's daughter, and it's a very it's 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 a very big tomb for um, a princess, and yeah. And then there's this mummy that keeps walking around, which actually really isn't a mummy. It's this guy. And uh, it's just, it was really, it was a really weird um, book. And I the last time I read this book was when I was in my 20s. So it was like 20 some years since I read this book. And I kind of wanted to get in back into uh, the Amelia Peabody mystery series and all that so i decided to try to get this to read this first unfortunately for me it was already checked out so i had to wait for the guy or lady to return it um overall this is a great beginning book like i said if you're interested in egypt and 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 the late 1800s and things like that it's chock full of like things that were probably done during the late um 1800s um, Amelia, uh, sorry, Elizabeth Peters uh, is a pseudonym for this, I cannot pronounce her name, but she was at one time an Egyptologist and she died back in, I think, 2017 or something like that, or maybe 2015, I, I, don't, I don't remember what year um, Elizabeth Peters died, but I do know it was this century. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it is a really great book. Um, I enjoyed the action and the dialogue between these two and all the people that they meet who will become their friends and all that. And uh, the, the person doing it was um, was a little bit shocking. I'm not going to tell you did it because I don't want to read the book. But I'm going to give this book uh, five stars. This is a great, great book and everything. So... Um, that is it for the book review. I do have some books I purchased um, yesterday that I'm going to be showing you guys in the next video. So look forward to that. Bye.